This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at nuclear binding energy. Binding energy is the energy required to disassemble an atomic nucleus into its component parts, which are also called nucleons. That's the protons and neutrons in the nucleus of an atom. On the left, we have the binding energy curve, which indicates the stability of atomic nuclei. The higher the curve, the more stable the nucleus. By looking at the binding energy curve, we can see that the isotope iron 56 has the highest binding energy per nucleon, which means it has the most stable nuclei. Any isotope to the right or left of this maximum will undergo a nuclear reaction to increase the average binding energy per nucleon and become more stable. Larger nuclei, which are to the right of iron 56, undergo nuclear fission, which increases the nuclear binding energy per nucleon. An example of this is the nuclear fission of uranium-235, which we looked at in a previous video. Smaller nuclei, which are those to the left of iron 56, undergo nuclear fusion, which also increases the nuclear binding energy per nucleon. An example of this is the nuclear fusion of the isotopes of hydrogen, deuterium and tritium, which we looked at in a previous video. So let's end with a summary. The higher the nuclear binding energy per nucleon, the more stable the nucleus. In both nuclear fusion and nuclear fission, the product nuclei have higher binding energy, therefore are more stable than the reactant nuclei. Nuclei to the right of iron 56 on the nuclear binding curve undergo nuclear fission, those to the left undergo nuclear fusion.